thought I thought that we had some sort of game plan. I told you I, what I needed. You said we should make a list, but yet you don't. But I've seen the counselors not to just it's not going to do it. It's not alone. I'm not. We've got to change how we do things. And I want to trust you. And I feel like all the trust is gone. All the fucking trust is gone in the relationship because you keep splitting. I, we fight together, no but you're trust. the only one who splits, and I, I want that back, but you, you... If there's no trust, there's nothing to then be maybe there's n Then maybe there's nothing to talk about. But I did come over here with enough love in my heart and sincerity Thank you. To, to say to you that all the things I said, which now I feel like that I meant them, you know what fucking meant them? Even though you fucking split, didn't come home. You know, I, I still, I still did that. I fucking have shown myself. I've proven myself. I've fought for you. I've showed up. I'm not gonna be in a physical fucking altercation don't. with you. Then don't. You fucking hit me last night. You fucking. What about all the other times you split? Come on, you cannot act like that. It's about that. It's well, not. Well, on a plane, I can't split. No, and you hit back. So don't act like you don't fucking participate. I pushed you. I'm not going to get into the details of that fight. You and I both know that you split when there is no physical violence involved. And that you do it at, me like at the very beginning of fights these days. And if you split and you go into a different room and you don't actually leave that house, it does nothing but perpetuate the fight. And you don't actually do it respectfully. You don't do it in a way that actually means we won't fight. It always makes more fights. It always makes them longer. It never, ever makes you calmer. You never come out going, I want to talk, or I'm okay, or it's going to be okay. And I am a hundred, I'm sick and tired a hundred percent of being the only one that goes and fights for it. You know what that does? It demoralizes the, 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 the half of this relationship that is me. It demeans me demoralizes me. Really? Yes, really. Really, when you split on me, how do you feel when I leave you? When I split, I've left when I go into the other room, you say. You leave how you get another room, you get a flight, when, things like that. And you asked me not to in is, Australia, and ever since no, then, how many, I've how many, how many, how many? I don't know, wrong. I have to count them up. No, because I haven't left you, left you in a house, maybe twice. Last, last night, and another time. No, you've done it before. I've come here before. I'm not doing that anymore. Well, yeah, you've come here before. Last time and another time. And then and last time. You've done this several times. And, yeah. and getting me a room. I mean, getting another room in a hotel is just the same thing. When did I get another room in a hotel? You uh, text Stephen or, or Nathan in Toronto to get you another room. It's chronic. It happens all the time. And if you do it to go into another room, you... Do it and you get dressed. You were fucking screaming at me. I'm not going to validate my actions last night. I feel very bad. No, I'm talking in Toronto. I, I did not start screaming until you had fucking said all this shit. You poke an animal enough, it is it's eventually, not, doesn't matter how friendly it is, that's how not cool. True. Well, I it's the cool same for me. So long, it's the same for and me. And you kicked kid. and kicked and kicked so bad. I have not done this to you. I have not said these things to you. Yeah. I have not started the fight by saying then I'm going to get in another room. And I'm not going to sit here and fight about fucking Toronto anymore. Guess what? I let it go. I'm not fucking about, I'm not fucking talking about Toronto. Send I can me the tapes. It. I can whisper it. I can write it. Guess what? I'm not saying another fucking word about Toronto. I'm so sick and tired of fucking fighting about old fights. This is not about a fight. This is broad. This is a broad thing. And if I'm telling you every single time you get dressed and you fucking split the top of a fight, you never fucking try and work it out, you never fight for me, you never come to me, you never self-calm, you never self-soothe, you're never the one to throw the olive branch, I'm sick and tired of it, it needs to fucking change. And you can go, I can't meet those demands, I can't do it, or you can fucking promise me so I have a modicum of safety, I feel a modicum of respect, a little tiny shit sliver of fucking like, you are in this whether it is good or bad, whether it is good or bad, down and up, lows and highs, tough, 
and easy. Not just when it's easy. I feel like you're a fucking vacation husband. You were so there when it's good. You're so there when it's easy. The second it gets hard, you question it. You uh, Last night, I'm just as guilty. I give you that. But I have been primed and conditioned. At this point, I couldn't, I thought I'd never get over Toronto. It hurt so bad. I got fucked over so bad and I did not do anything like that. I didn't stoop that level at all. You got the tapes. Let me hear them. Absolutely. I wish, ugh, I wish it had caught everything too. Why don't you send me the, send me the fucking recordings? I will. Just, I will. just text them to me. Um, I don't know how else to say I will to you. Hasn't really been a kind of safe environment now, has it? So if I'm looking to stroke, um, stoke a fire, yeah, okay. I haven't because we have not been well. We have not been good. And when I fucking move out, if I move out, then you fu I'll have a, you'll have them and you can fucking relish them. You won't fucking like it, what you hear. Won't make you happy. But you'll hear what I'm telling you. We haven't really been good. It hasn't really been a safe environment, now has it? You act like you're fucking on something when I haven't, you know, sent you this. Like, well, send them to me. Get this. It hasn't been good. It's been a little tough. Well, it wasn't before Rio. Was it tough? I mean, it was only in the sense that you tried to keep me, you know. It's been really tough. And why did you come to Rio? All I've been trying to do is be with you, spend time with you. You said you needed that. You said that it made a difference when I wasn't working. You wanted me to travel with you. That was the time you, you were looking for apartments? That was after Toronto. Yeah, that, that's when we came back here. I know where Toronto, we were. Toronto, Boston, here. I know where we were. We've been on the road basically since Australia, and I have been at your side. And I have not been filming the movie. Well, we were on our honeymoon. I hope you were at my side. I'm not talking about just a honeymoon now, am I? I'm talking about many months. And was it all the honeymoon? No. I have been at your side throughout it all. You said, why did you come to Rio? And I answered you. I would love for it to be better. I have no fucking consistency, no safety, no security. The relationship is something, me, is something you don't fight for, you don't stand up for, you always run from when it's tough. I, I'm telling you, I need... More, I need. We didn't say vows. You didn't make them exactly in the same in that in that way, you know. But, but now is a fucking time. I need to know if you're gonna be there. I want promises. I told you that at the beginning of this conversation. I need promises. You're gonna fucking be there. I need promises that this is important to you. Not when it's easy. When it's hard too. If this is something you'll fight for. That this is something that's sacred. That neither of us throw out every fight. I can't be the only one to hold the promises. I was in Toronto and it fucked me over. I can't be the only one. You can't be the only one. If I split on you, all those times that I thought about doing it, we would not be here. And I stayed and it's tougher. You know that's stronger. I'm stronger. It is easy to run. It is easy to run away from problems. It is easy to take that out and say, well, that's the easiest, that, I mean, that's the best, safest, that's the safest way out. I'm not saying we should get in physical altercations. I never want to be in that. Never. But every time you don't like what I say and you fucking run away, we'll never work out anything. You can't run away every fight. You can't. It's easy. It's, it, it's not brave. It's not strong. It's harder to say to somebody, I want to work this out. I want to face what I have. I want to face what you have. I want to work it out with you. You're not working it out. You're running away. And then you make me be the bigger person every single time and come to you and knock on the door and come to this house and say, hey, we're married. It's supposed to be sacred. Come I down. Calm you. down. I made you. Yes, by default. If you're never the one to do it, one of us is, and I'm the one to do it every time. It means I'm the bigger person every time. It means I have to be the strong one. It means every time I have to fight for our relationship. And you get to be not, you get to be lazy. You get to be cowardly. I don't then know what, what it is. what are you is. here for? What do you need me for? Once again, I am fighting for the relationship. I With want... a guy that you don't fucking trust or like? Why? I did not say I didn't like you. I love you. You're my favorite person in the world. I don't see how I, I Remember be. what I said at the beginning? I'm sorry you feel like you can't imagine it. But I said this to you at the beginning of this conversation. I said, you're the, my favorite person in the whole world. If you weren't the most magnetic, 
shiny, beautiful, interesting, dynamic person I had ever met in my life, it would be so easy to walk away from this bratty thing that you Untrustworthy, do. Untrustworthy. Uh, um, uh, Did you hear what I just said? Yeah. I said I can't trust. I can't trust. That's not meaning you're untrustworthy. It means we've created a situation. And I'm telling you what you do to create it, too. We've created a situation in which there, it, there cannot... Trust can't grow. It's like it's trampled every single time, and we need a marriage. That's why I sat down. Do you not remember me sitting down at the very beginning of this conversation and saying just that to you? Say, I know you got married for security and for safety. So did I. We did not get married because it was something that we're doing, you know, for because it was something we could walk away. We wanted the state, the foundation. No? I want you. Yes, I wanted to make you my wife. I yes, yes, but you could just have me as your girlfriend if you didn't want the foundation. And you told me, and maybe you go back on it now. Fine, okay, cool, lie about that, I don't know. You told me you wanted a foundation. You told me you wanted the security, you wanted the safety. You liked the foundation. At the beginning you said, I really like having that. It of feels course. safe. So of don't course. argue with me when I say it now. I'm not arguing with you. Oh, yeah, but you had to pick it apart. By saying because I loved you and you're my wife? I wanted you to be my wife. That's picking it apart? No. Then how did I pick it apart? I'm not, I, I, I don't want to do this. I don't want to fight about a fight. I want to fight about the semantics. I want to how come when I come up with a point, you can't answer it? You don't want, or suddenly you don't want to answer it? What am I not answering? Because I don't want to fight about this new thing? No, I don't want to. I, I said you wanted the safety and security, and you stopped me, you interrupted me, and then you said, what? Because I, we, 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 no, because I wanted to have you as I my I didn't interrupt you. You asked me, right? You said, right? I meant you interjected. I meant you said. You said. How about that? See, now, is this better? I answered you. I addressed what you're saying. Now, can we please not fight about that? And I said, because I love you. You said loved. talking about a fucking event this past tense. If I used loved, I, I, my apologies, it doesn't mean you don't love me now. My whole point that you had, a, I don't know what issue with, is that you love me, yes, you married me, though, because you wanted sa some safety, some security, some stability, a foundation. Now, if you take issue with that, okay. Take issue with it, but if you agree, then and you agree that's who you were when you married me. Yes, but the only thing that's missing is with you. Really? I wanted those things with you. Yes. And that's yes. what I was trying to say. Me too. Because I love you and, 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 and I wanted you to marry you for that, for our love, for the security, for the foundation, for... Yes, of course. But you left for you. I'm sorry I didn't. Me too. I mean... With you, of course. Or with you, or whatever. I mean that, of course. Of course I do. Of course I want that with you. It's why I married you. But I need the safety, I need the security, I need the boundaries. And I think you... I could need, you not agree? I need, this, I need the same things. So, I... But when you start flipping out, and I can't get a word in, and it's, and it's, you know, manic and angry. Okay. What the fuck, Amber? I get angry. I get, I'm human. This is the kind of situation where okay, one gets well, angry. Okay, but you can't provoke anger in me then. I, if I, just you try. can't control that. But just if I'm angry. Just try. Let's both try. If there's anger, if there's something fucking really really fucking poking us in the ass. Let's try. Mm. Try not to fucking fight. Try to address it without jumping down each other's throats because all that's going to do is build a mountain of fucking uh, resentment, uh, uh, some species of fucking hatred within the love and... and uh, uh, so totally fucking mistrust because you say you don't trust me, you don't trust me. I get it, okay. I'm flake, I'm a this, I'm a that. I didn't All say right. as a person, I it was speaking specifically about this. I don't trust the marriage, I don't trust you, I don't feel safe with it because you always fucking bail on it. 
Well, then I, I don't know, you know. I, I want I, the trust back. I don't, you can deflect all you want, say it's my fault, say how dare I get angry at you ever, whatever. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. As much as you don't like that shit in your marriage, I don't like the, the guff that you, that you uh, put on me in our marriage. And if it causes distrust in me, it causes distrust in me. I, yeah. I don't and know And I don't, and I don't know. You. I don't know what And sometimes I don't. I don't want to fucking be there and go through the shit. I don't, man. I don't. I know. And I don't want to, because I don't want to fucking fight. But it doesn't have to be one. It's not like I'm saying, hey, choose fight. You just said I get mad, I'm going to scream. No, I didn't say oh, that's always the case. I said, yeah, I'm mad. It happens. It happens. Yes, I know. It happens often. <laughs> the things that are wrong are repeating themselves, and they happen often. If you think I'm some fuck it, fucking tyrant or bully, then don't fucking be with me. But don't sit here and insult me like I have a f I'm the fuck up because I have the but you're audacity the one to get me saying mad. that I'm the tyrant and the bully and the and at the same time the the, the, the guy that runs bully, away yeah. and you the are you run away every single fight. Okay, so I mean, then what are you? Then I'm not doing lying about it. Then what are you doing with me? I already answered that. I already spent. We went through this conversation literally five minutes ago. I answered this already five minutes ago. You just said to me that I shouldn't be with you. No, I said if That's you. What I feel. No, I said if I'm some, you know, harping bully, which is what you make me sound like. Like I'm like constantly on you, making you feel bad. That's because that's what I do. And then you ignore everything. You take me for granted. You're ignoring everything that I do for you. You make me sound terrible. You talk about me in a terrible way. You uh, you do not fight for me. And then you want to sit here and make me sound so terrible to be around. What do you mean I don't fight for you? You don't. I, everything I've already explained. No. Ten minutes before. No, fight for you. I don't understand. What you never, mean? ever do the work. Put in the work. If we're arguing about something, you don't ever try to get to the bottom of it, figure out, make the peace. You want to make it easy on you so you split you don't fight for me you don't fight when there's a problem you don't come to me you don't uh, uh, make peace with me you never extend an olive branch you're never the bigger guy you're never the one that's like okay I'm gonna put my own feelings aside for a second and say this is bigger than us let's stop fighting you never are the one to come and knock on my door you take me for granted it's not true not true. I'm not the one who fucking throws fucking pots and Those are diff whatever that's the different. fucking else at me. That's different. That's one does not <laughs> negate the other. That's irrelevant. It's a complete non sequitur. Just because I've thrown pots and pans does not mean that you vases come and knock on the door. Just because there are vases does not mean that you come and knock on the door. Really? I should just let you throw... I'm not saying that. You're saying that. You're putting words in my mouth and then making no, non sequiturs. I'm giving you a situation. No, you're trying to justify how you don't or do come to the door no, based I'm on whether I throw pots of hands. It's irrelevant. No, I'm justifying how you, you, you seem to think that there's this cowardice in me that runs away and I don't fight for you. And you're justifying that by saying I throw pots and pans? Okay, cool. Let's no, talk about everything you do wrong. I'm not the one who fucking did that. I don't fucking... I didn't... So that makes, so that makes sense. So that I... That's no. clear. Yeah. Do I do I, the only time I ever threw anything at you was when you fucking are you, threw the cans at me in Australia. Why are you trying to justify who throws things based because on whether or that, not you come knocking on the door? I don't because get that why is a fucking irrational and violent fucking maneuver. How so a man would want to other? get out of that area so that he doesn't get so fucking angry that he actually does pop the fucking wife. How does one inform the other? Oh, man. Go home and listen to the tape. Please. That's what they're for. Yes. You listen to the fucking tape. Oh, I'm gonna. So will I.
I'm not here to sit here and promise you I'll never get mad at you or that you'll never fuck up. I know you want to live in a land, in a world where everyone just says yes to you and doesn't question you or criticize you ever. Don't ever. insult me like that, please. But that's not the case. It's not why you're with me. I am honest with you. I'm sorry. You don't want to be held accountable. I get it. I'm Anyone not sure really you're so does. honest with me. Well, that's your... Watching you live in front of Travis yeah, last night was really a That's spectacle. your problem, and that's your whole thing that you've created. That's my problem, but my problem is that you don't trust me? No, what I don't trust you What the fuck is going on in there, man? I don't trust you in this, and I want the trust back. You don't trust me in our marriage? Well, what is everything we're talking about? Our marriage? Tell me if you want to stop talking. You're saying you don't trust me personally, me you, just or you don't trust me, me in the marriage. What I don't understand, which is what's so different. Tell me the difference, please. I think I have in the last few hours now. Uh, no, I think you could probably explain it to me a little better. I'm, I think I'm wanna, slow. You want to keep being an asshole? Do I want to keep S being an asshole? Stop the attitude. It's a redundant question. Stop the attitude. I should stop the other. Okay, sure, no problem. Stop! No problem. So I'm not going to sit here and go over every fight we've had. I'm not going to refight this fight. You have something you're holding on to about Travis. Fucking go. Fucking go fuck. <laughs> you know? Go do it. Go run away together. I don't know what you're fucking holding on to. But you have created that. I have no part of that. I don't know what you're fucking latched on to in your brain. What stray hairs have fucking commingled and tangled in your brain. To make you think you've really figured some sort of thing out. But this is not unusual for you. It's like almost every fight I can pretty much guarantee you will find something that you can like Let's, let's ask Travis tonight if you Yes, told why don't we him. invite Travis into our, uh, in our, into our fucked up, broken ass three fucking wheeled truck of a marriage why don't we crash it straight into the wall because no one knows us better than fucking Travis. You're just afraid that the truth will come out. What truth? That you lied. What are you fucking talking about? I didn't fucking even have a, a, a fucking thing to lie about. What are you fucking talking about? Every fucking fight, there's a new thing that you've convinced yourself no, is a lie. I said to you, You're... Amber, tell Travis what you just did. Did you just fucking, <laughs> did you punch me in the fucking jaw? Did you fucking kick? Did you? Uh -huh. Did you? And you wouldn't say a fucking reason. I don't know you what you're talking about. Lie. Never fucking, I see the never lie. fucking happened. I see the lie. You really should run with this. In fact, maybe you and Travis can like go and like, you know, do a tell-all about what a, hey, what, you stop. know, an investigative study. Stop with study. the attitude, right? Sorry. Stop with the attitude. Sorry. You're getting all bunched up. Sorry. Sorry. I don't, it's so fucking pointless, and you know it, to say you're a fight about fucking... Whatever you think happened with Travis, it was no. a conversation. Listen, we I was not high. I'm not going to. You lied, to. you're asshole. You're fucking full of shit. What lied? lied? You're asshole. When? Hmm? What conversation did I have with Travis? I, um, big, big investigative study you've done. I'm not sitting here no, and fighting with you about the fight that we had last night. I was in a situation with you. After you fucking night. got physically violent with me, I texted Travis. I said, come up here because I, I didn't want anything to, to happen. I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. come, come to what? Save me? No, go ahead. Continue. You, you, you. Travis to the rescue. No, that, no, that was the last one. You can go, uh, you can go. That was the last insult. Oh, yeah. You, you, do, you called me a liar and yet, yeah. Yet. I watched you lie. You called me a liar? I watched you lie. I You're heard it. I was bullshit. right there. There's no, what? You still haven't told me what lie it is. We'll talk but yet, to, every single fucking time. We'll you know you Travis. do this every single fucking time. We'll talk time. to Travis. I'm not fucking talking to nobody. No, Fuck that. You fucking... go fucking jerk. Go jerk him off. I don't care. I really could care less. It's you every single time. You latch onto some sort of thing. When I already told you, I don't know what you're fucking talking about. You don't even know what you're talking about. You still haven't even told me what it is. But run with it. You I have told you what it is. No, you haven't. I said to Travis, I said, Good. no, I said to you, hey, okay. tell Travis what just happened. You oh, you told me to do it. 
You yeah. told me to. You said, go do that. I said, no, t- tell them what just happened. And I lied. And that you punched me in the You're fucking right. f- thing and you, you spit in the face. Out. And you said, no, fuck it. No, I didn't. What the fuck are you talking about? And I, I watched punch you lie. You. And then I, didn't I punch said, you, and by then the I, way. You, I'm sorry that I didn't uh, you, uh, uh, hit you. Me across the face in a proper slap, but I was hitting you. It was not punching you. Babe, you're not punched. Don't tell me what it feels like to be punched. You, you know, you, even a lot of fights have been around a long time. You know, I know. Yeah, no, I when you fucking have a closed you fist. You get punched. You got hit. I'm sorry I hit you like this, but I did not punch you. I did not fucking deck you. I fucking was hitting you. You can't I don't know what me. the po- motion of my actual hand was, but you're... Fine. I did not hurt you. I did not punch you. I was hitting you. How are your toes? How, what am I supposed to do? Do this? How are your I, toes? I'm not sitting here bitching about it, am I? You are. Oh, That's you, the difference you between me toes. and you. You're a fucking baby. Because you start you physical are fights? You're a baby! Because Call you, the fuck off, Because you start Johnny. physical fights? I did start a physical fight. Yeah, you did, so I had because, to get the fuck out of there. Yes, you did. So you did the right thing, the big thing. The, you know what? You are admirable. Every single time. What, 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 what's your excuse? When there's not a physical fight, then what's the excuse there? You're still being admirable, right? Just by running away. And you can sit here and, and call me names, but you get called a name, and what do you do? That's the last insult. You're a baby. You're a hypocrite. You don't do anything that you actually do. You expect from people what you can't give them. If they do something, a taste of it to you, you fucking lose it. But yet you dish it out. What are you doing with this? I'm giving you a Xanax in case you need it. Oh, thank you. It seems like it's warm off. Yeah, it probably has. But I love you, and I've told you many million times in this conversation how much I love you. I do love you. And I've fought for this marriage, and fought for you. Do the same. Not ever. Not ever. Okay. I got married to you. To the foundation. So we start up. so that it could be a trendy thing we throw around at each other or run away from you. But I haven't even been able to have like a fight with you beyond in any real talking kind of speaking context in so long because anytime anything goes wrong you split. I feel like it's your first thing. And it's unnecessary. It's not always uh, you're splitting because there's blows or because there's yelling or anything. You split many, most times, when I'm still speaking in this volume and nothing has been thrown or hit or anything. destroyed by constantly being reminded that you take me for granted or that you don't see this as a permanent thing for better or for worse. I feel genuinely that you are here in this marriage and committed to this marriage for the better and really not for worse. You can't say the same about me. I fight even when I feel terrible. I show up. I pursue, I, 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 I give you space, I have, I've done everything 
to really show how committed I am. You know I am. I'm here, for God's sake. Um, no, not when it's tough. Not when it's hard. Not when it's worse. This is the bit. The, this is the grandest gesture you've shown me in a long time. Is by sitting in one place and actually facing some of the stuff we need to talk about. This is the bit. The biggest gesture you've given me in a very long time. It means a lot, of course, but. Uh, I know there's things that I need to be different. I want to make you happy as a man. I know I can change certain things that are hurting you. But I know I can't blame myself entirely for going straight to the fucking finish line, the first sign of stress yesterday. Because of how it's been lately, like since Australia, and I have been on the road with you, I haven't been working, I don't know what else I could fucking do. Since Australia, we've been on our honeymoon and we had a great time other than the fact that we had a fight in the train, which was physical. Yeah. But and then we had a fight in San Francisco, but I thought everything else was great, you are saying we've been Pondering this since Australia. No, the, the splitting. The, Me splitting. Like the lack of. You know, I even said this in Australia. I, said, I feel like it was so good for so long. We'd talk about things. We were, remember we were allowed to have fights then. Remember we allowed ourselves to say, hey, you did this or you took. Remember we would even have a little argument and it was okay. It was an argument. I don't know what the fuck has changed. I can't figure it out. And I don't mean to criticize uh, uh, anything that you do, but it's so chronic with you, the, 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 the changes in the personality. It's like sometimes you get these clear, clear months and you're this different person and it's wonderful, you're this, you're this. And then sometimes I'm like struggling to stay connected with you, struggling to have five minutes with you, you, you know, uh, struggling to connect with you, struggling to have my friendship with you and I can't fight with you you know it's like but they're so chronic that I have to go what the fuck has changed what thing has changed do you not remember how different you were so different you were so you allowed me to I allowed you to present, what and you were so present and we were allowed to fight we were, not even fight we had arguments you weren't like this, mood swings up, down, like really aggressive and really cool and calm. I mean, you've given me this time here on the couch and it's amazing that we can actually talk, but I never feel that safe. I constantly feel like you're about to fucking split and I don't want to feel like that. You made me feel meaningless. You threw me out of the bed room. Yeah, something. why wouldn't I if I know that, that you're about to split? I mean, that's what I'm saying. You I wasn't always split. about to split. You always split, so that's... Why wouldn't I mean I do blame myself for my actions? I was laying in bed watching television, man. I was laying in bed watching television. I fucked up last night. I'm not going to defend myself, but I also can't blame my, me going to the finish line when that's always where you drive it. You know. You're, but you're saying you thought I was you, you were sure I was going to split. But always. I, I mean that's just. That's Why would I split if I'm laying in the bed with you watching fight, television? Any time I tell you that I'm unhappy with anything, and it's typically the same thing. Any time I voice a complaint, I'm not allowed to have a complaint. I'm not allowed to think of anything wrong. I've told you this a thousand times. A thousand times I've said this to you in calm and in fights. Baby, I don't feel like I'm allowed to just have a complaint, and you aren't allowing me the luxury of us just being normal human couples, like, as soon as you get mad, you take off on a train, remember I even asked you, is it about Adderall, are you doing too much, I know it makes one edgy, it makes one, like, temperamental, could it be too much, like, what, is it, the alcohol doesn't seem like it, unless it's, like, in Toronto, where it just became that, but in general, it hasn't been a problem so much, so I don't know what, like, what changed, I mean, I'm sure, it's, something because it's not it's a same, chemical it's, it's strong same, no. it's one day you were different it's the same and it hasn't been back it's the same changes that are happening in you it's exactly the same huh? I really wish that, was the case. that is the case i have always allowed you to 
fucked up and be a human. I've always been able to have a communication with you. You, the difference is you make it so we cannot even communicate at all if it's anything negative. You go, you take off on a train, you don't get off. You don't calm down, you don't come back around, you don't honor when you say I just want a few minutes or I want a little time but I'll be back. You don't assuage the, um, the anxiety and the stress that that gives me and makes things worse with me by saying, hey, I will, we will, remember Keeper was like, you have to say, I will be back in this amount of time, more or less, and then actually honor it, you have to come back, so I said, oh my god, if he could do that, that would be great, and you never do it, you know, you don't ever honor that, you leave me with way more anxiety, stress, anger, and resentment, but in Australia, for a few months, you were so, so were you, it makes a difference. I wasn't being attacked. I'm not. I, I'm not. I, I have not attacked you any different. I haven't changed. I have not attacked you any different. I never attacked you. I never attacked you. Just because I have a complaint with something you did is not an attack. It becomes baby. verbally insulting. It becomes I all kinds of shit. Mean. It becomes like, like right, right, right at the get go. Yeah. See, that's the problem. If you see any criticism as a verbal assault, of of course we have this problem. We're gonna have it next time you do. God forbid I have a problem with something you do. We're gonna be in this situation. Say it Are nice. you ready for it? Say it nice, man. What if I'm hurt? Am I not allowed to be hurt and be human? That's the thing. You're not allowing me to be human then. You take my humanity you're from talking me. About you're telling me I'm not allowed to feel you're things talking and I'm not allowed to react because it to protect you. Last night happened because I was at Isaac's for too long. Next door. And for what? For what? What did, what did we gain from this fight? From from me just, you know, the horrible fucking act of me being over at Isaac's for just too long for you. I did not cause this because you were at Isaac's. That's, I mean, you lie to yourself. Go ahead. You're just lying Then to why were you upset last night? This did not happen because of Isaac's. This happened because we're fighting. This is not about Isaacs. We actually haven't really even talked about that. We spent two seconds on it because it's you know it's not about that. You know it's bigger than that. The point is I voiced a complaint. It could be anything. You could say, baby, you did something to hurt me, which you did, and you admitted. Why didn't you say that? You admitted that you would feel that way too, and yes. you said sorry for it. That would have been great, but I could not feel safe saying that to you because I knew that your reaction would very likely be a defensive explosion and an attack and freak out and get up and walk away and all this stuff, so I wanted to avoid it. So I took an Ambien to try and go to sleep without even having to speak to you about it because I was really hurt that you fucking left me stranded and you didn't think about me, you didn't text me, all the things that you apologized for. Yeah. You already apologized for it. Can you do me one small favor and not take it back? I ain't taking it back. Thank you. Stop defending it, please. You already apologized for it. It meant a lot to me. Do me one favor today. Don't take that back. And what did I just say? about me showering? No, it's, a, it's about you not allowing me to have any problems with you or be upset at you or mad at you or even hurt for you at all. You do not allow it. If you, if you could have just said in, in a kinder way, in a nicer way, like, listen, I feel fucked over by what you fucking just did. You wouldn't freak out? No, I would say fucking, what is it? Like what? And fucking too long at Isaac's. You said you wouldn't be that long or whatever. You shouldn't. I feel stranded, I felt fucking left, but I'm not, what am I going to fight with that? Why, why would I get mad at that? Oh my God, the first thing you do is I don't have to do, I don't have to text you and all, I mean, you'd just be, you'd be, it would be shitty, it would be a fight, it would be terrible, it would you, not be. You, it was a fight. Yeah, it was. It was a fight. And then. It shouldn't have been, and, 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 
so the, the, the Isaac thing was the impetus because you were the that was mm -hmm. a lot of what you said today. Was it? Okay, impetus, but it's just a small example, a bigger thing. You know, it's okay. A good okay, thing. so it's a bigger thing. It's coming from back in Australia. No, it's like Australia was allowed to fight. I can't. You can't sit here and tell me. I can't feel things. I can't voice them to you. If we say to each other, you can't get mad and you can't be hurt by the other, then we're living in fucking motherfucking fairy tale. Look, then, well, of course, nobody, nobody is able to and shouldn't hold shit in. But we can go to the other person and say, look, man, I feel fucked. I feel shit. I feel this. I feel that. And then we can assess you how you feel. Well, fuck, I guess, oh, shit, I see what you mean, you know, I see what you mean, I get it. Or, fucking, I don't get, I don't, I don't understand what you're saying, and you're wrong, and you're the, whatever. But it's going to be the latter, and it's been the latter for months now, where that's your reaction, is not ever, ever admitting wrong, ever doing anything wrong, that's, ever that's admitting it. You always go straight to you're wrong, fuck you kind of thing. You don't say fuck you all the time right away, but I'm She's saying... always. Huh? Like, for months now, it's been, I can't voice any complaint. I can't say I feel fucked over. I can't say I'm hurt. I can't say you fucked up. I can't be mad at you. I can't be hurt. Nothing. Because I'm the bad guy. Oh, well, I'm always fucking up. And, you know, like, you're always on, always on me. And I'm always fucking up. And, you know, like, getting mad at me for having... For being what? honest with you. We've had a million fights where I'm like, I was honest with you. I told you how I felt. Maybe you, if you were me, wouldn't you feel bad? Yeah. Okay, well then, the fuck? We have these few months where we actually could even feel things and fight and it was an argument. But you don't ever like, it's like you, I don't know what's changed, but it's like you can't ever just make it short and get over it. You can't. It's like you get on something and you will not get off of it. Hence why I'm always going to you in fights for hours trying to get you to calm down. Please, can we talk? Please, because I don't want to go to bed that way. And you told me you didn't want to go to bed that way either. Yet, you want to fucking do this all night long and make it an all night thing by disappearing for hours at a time. And then when I come to you, I'm the bad guy. I feel fucking alone. I feel like you're not fucking helping. You're not fucking doing anything in fights. You're not overcoming yourself. You're not overcoming yourself. It's every one of these fights could have been so short. Why aren't you doing some of the work? Why aren't you coming to me and saying, look, Olive Branch? Why aren't you saying, I'm sorry, bigger picture, let's look at the bigger picture? Why aren't you doing any of this stuff? Have you noticed that you're not? Do you remember thanking me for doing that, actually, recently? Um, Thank you for being the bigger person. Thank you for coming and apologizing to me. When? Thank I'm you. Sorry, when? Honeymoon or Venice? Mm -hmm. So there's an example. I don't sorry. remember which one it is, but I'm really sorry. I don't remember exactly. No, 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 no. I wasn't. I wasn't questioning you. I'm sure. I'm just saying you, just, you, you. I know. I just don't remember that one time. But I'm yeah. saying the majority of the times. And if you want to argue with that, then we'll never see eye to eye. I think you and I both know the truth. The majority of times, you cannot calm yourself and it's me trying whether I'm hurt whether I'm mad whether you just told me you hate me in my eyes I'm the one trying to get you to calm down trying to get an olive branch trying to not make it an all night thing trying to get over it trying to see the bigger picture even if I'm hurt I'm still trying to do that because I see the bigger picture you lose the bigger picture every time and if you want to stay married to me you need to figure out if you ever I mean if you think you can if you're going to lose sight of the bigger picture and only be my husband when it's easy, you're only going to be there for the ups, never the downs. You're only going to be there for health, not sickness. Every time it gets hard, you lose the big picture and you can't think about anything else but breaking up, divorce, fighting, splitting, running away. If you can't be the one to come around sometimes and see the bigger picture and know that it's not worth fighting for days, if you can't do that too, we, walk, we need to walk away. 
I don't want to walk away. I don't want to end this. But do you not think you'd instigate the same thing? I'm not talking about instigating. I'm talking about ending. But ending, you don't... I'm talking about ending. Yeah, but you don't always do that. You don't always end I, up to be the one to say... Had, what you do is, in I the morning, you say, I'm sorry. No, I do it at night. I do it at night. I come, Whether it's night or day, I've done both. I've come to you every single time. On the plane I came to you, on the Venice I came to you, in Toronto I came to you, in, um, in what do you call it, San Francisco I came back to you, I pull you into the bed or I hug you and I get us to calm down and I'm glad I do because that's what makes it not be an all night thing. And nothing harms our marriage more than sleeping in different beds because we're mad at each other or going to bed mad at each other. We made a promise, you didn't keep that promise, but we did make a promise to not do that. It was your choice not to live up to that problem promise not mine I tried to get you to come to bed when you were um, mad I tried to get you to calm down so many times in wow. Toronto oh, in Toronto in Venice and in San Francisco I would come to the seven different bathrooms if you were and try throughout whether I was mad or hurt or not because I saw the bigger picture I didn't think it was worth this I'm always the one trying to end it you never let go of things you constantly constantly do this I'm sorry you feel that way. You're never the one coming to me and saying, let's not fight anymore. You're never the one saying, come, just get into bed, let's not go to bed mad like that. On the plane, it was me. In Toronto, it was me. It's always me. On the plane, here from uh, from Rio, you, don't you were Think losing your marbles. I'm the one who came to you and said, let's calm down, please calm down. And you were blaming me. Think about it. <coughs> because you're... The flight was going to get in late and you wouldn't be able to think about it. have time before your thing. Just think about it. Oh, no. The majority oh. of our fights. How no, absolutely. Okay, I'll admit that. Yeah, the majority of our fights, I hang on to it because it's fucking hard to let go of. Some of the shit that you go through in a fight can be yeah. painful and it's hard to forget shit. No shit, but if you want to keep doing this and live a life where you constantly are using that as ammunition, which you could shoot yourself in the fucking head, that's fine, okay? But at least admit you're doing that. If you want to hold on to everything and never get over it and never let go, then don't scratch your head and go, I wonder why I'm so aggressive when you point out anything I did wrong. I wonder why I have so much resentment for you. I wonder why we fight so much. Stop scratching your head and wonder and just admit that it's because you never let a fucking thing go, you can't get over anything, and that you won't and cannot calm yourself down when you're mad. So it's all my fault? No. It's not. It's not. Yet you can sit here and find blame in everything that I do. But you never say a thing about yourself. I think I've included myself. You copped her last night. I have included myself. I do let things go. I see the bigger picture. You said you... you, you said, I'm tired too, man. You said you see the bigger picture and you do let things go. Mm -hmm. Yet, mm -hmm. after after Toronto, you, you're looking for apartments. That was a hard one. And I'm, I did not say 100% of the time. And, no and the plane was a fucking hard one too. No, converse, no part of this conversation did I say, I am perfect. I did not claim that. I know you didn't. I'm claiming the vast majority of time of these patterns, and I own them, I'm right, you know it, you don't have to admit it, but you know what I'm saying is true. I'm able to sit with the picture as well. Whether I'm mad or hurt, I do mean for better or for worse. I have honored my word to not leave. You ditched me last night, and I understand. I understand. How shitty. understand my part in it. But it is a reaction to this fucking situation we've created. It's about to crack and I'm trying. I can't. I just can't be the I can't be the one. I also 
don't want to make me unhappy and make me anything good. And then that's the trust I'm talking about. Well, like I said, the last thing in the world I want is for you to be unhappy or for me to let you down. Mm. And I do. And I do make you unhappy and, and, and I, I do let you down. Only you know if you can change it or do better. I know you're not perfect. I've seen you be pretty damn close. I've seen you do better than this. I've seen you control yourself more. I've seen you react less. I've seen you be less... I've seen you have more, way more control over yourself. So fucking edgy and you get so mad so fast and you stay mad. I've seen this happen before, and I've also seen you better. I've seen you clearer, I've seen you better, I've seen you do better and you don't let me down. And I subsequently would do better and let you down less. I hope. But I'm not changing how I do things, you're changing how you do things. This is dramatic change. It's been a few months now, and I'm, I'm begging you, now is the time. If you choose to stop it, fucking great. I will be, <coughs> I'll be with you to change. But I can't set myself up to be the only one to keep promises and then wind up in another situation like Toronto, where you're booking a room or trying to get me on a flight. Or I'm not saying any of the things, and I'm hearing all this shit, and I'm not defending myself, and I'm coming to you saying I love you, or I'm trying to protect you from yourself. And I get destroyed. I can't do it again. I won't ever survive through that again. And I don't want to. You leave me unhappy. I don't want to. I don't want you to. Can you leave me like that? I don't want to be unhappy. Instead of just like that. You're saying, I mean, you're saying to me that I was, for, for a long time, I was able to keep everything together, and when we fought, Do you remember? like, be cool, yeah, exactly, and it was for a while, right? Yeah, yeah, it was, So and we could have arguments, it was like, okay, normal, no, right. we can't have a, no we can't have an argument, no, uh-uh. Right, but there, there was one or two in Australia when I was calm-headed and all that shit, that... I mean, what, what am I reacting to if I'm, if I, you know, if I'm, if I'm trying to keep a cool head, I'm reacting to you fucking jumping. No, before a jump, just a normal argument, baby. There's a difference. There okay. is in the middle There Sometimes is, but you... Sometimes you just go, that was rude, or you snap. That you, you, say, tend, baby, you tend to you jump. Snap. You tend to jump. Okay. All right. This is before the jump. This is like a normal... Man, that really fucking sucks. Like I matter too, or whatever it is. Yeah. And it's not. You think you don't matter with me? It's not the best of point. It's an example. I'm sorry. There okay. are times when you can make for months now consistently. Wow, well, I have no idea. You have been. I did. I've told you a million times. I've actually told you about about five times. I can't have a normal complaint. I can't have a normal complaint. I can't have any problems with you. Baby, I feel like I can't tell you anything's wrong. Baby, I feel like I can't be honest with you. Baby, you gotta relax a little. What the fuck? I gotta be able to tell you if something's wrong. How many times have you heard me say that? I have told you this. I've also mentioned how different it was in Australia and begged for whatever that... Was it clarity? Is it less Adderall? I don't know. Is it work? Is it, you know, like, something's affecting you, and I'm not judging you. I'm not. In fact, you you have elucidated my opinion on, on medication. Do I not give you your meds every day? Do I not remind you to take them? Of course. Do I not? I know that you have to take medication. I am very aware of that. Mm -hmm. And I, you have actually changed my mind a bit as to how necessary they can be. I used to kind of think that they were not superfluous, but I don't know, just like an escape. Yeah, and now I don't think that, and that's because of you. You know, you changed my opinion about that. But I do know you, and you 
you don't know moderation very well. Like, you don't get, you're allergic to moderation. So, I balance you out, I think, a little bit. I try to keep you safe. I try to keep on you a little bit to remind you to take the good ones, you know? Do I not? You do. You listen, and do I you, ever give you a hard time? You look at, no, about the meds, no. You, you, you spoil me, look. You do all those wonderful things. You, 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 you take my boots off. I'm not treating my own horn. I'm no, I'm, I'm not, not saying you're treating your own horn. I'm saying there are a lot of beautiful and wonderful things that you do for me that I've never even dreamt, like, that someone would be so fucking caring as to, you know, hey, baby, it's time for your meds, and, you know, it's so beautiful that your wife is, uh, you know, doing that. It's beautiful that, you know, um, the, the, the act of just simply taking my fucking boots off when I get home from work, that is, is, monumental stuff to me, the, uh, the, 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 you know, the care throughout the day, you know, here, drink this vitamin water, um, you know, I mean, there are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful things that I could go on and on about you, about us, about how you've made me feel, how you how you changed my life, how you you know, but I I do not want to be I don't want to be a fucking shithead in your eyes. Thank you. That's well, true, man. It's true. There are a lot of things. There are a lot of positives. There are a lot of positives. I'm not just saying it. I'm being honest. Shiny, smart, sexy thing. I can't. It's something you fight for. But I. I am. I'm trying. I just want to feel safe again. I want the stability. I mean, you meant marriage for life, right? You meant like better and worse and all that stuff. You know, we didn't say to these words. Of course, and we did. Better or worse, we didn't say, but, oh, I, maybe, um... Whitney said, for better or for worse. She did? Yeah. I mean... But, it is for better or for worse for me. It I, is. I feel... I didn't leave last night you're because... You're making me feel like it's not, like, not, like you're not there for work. <coughs> I left last night, honestly. I swear to you, because I just couldn't take the idea of more physicality, more physical abuse on each other, <coughs> because had we continued, it, it would have gotten know. fucking bad, and baby, I told you this once, and I'm scared to death of it, we are a fucking crime scene right now, no. if we don't get our shit together, and that, by getting our shit together, that might mean, fucking A, we do this and we make it, that might mean, goddamn, you know, you say, I've tried, I'm done, to Lou. but we, we've got to get our shit together as individuals and as a couple, because I love you. And I do not want to leave you. I do not want a divorce. I do not want you out of my life. 
I just want peace. And if I'm the culprit, majority of the time, I will fucking do everything I can. And I will recognize when I'm fucking starting to go sideways. I will recognize it. But please do the same. Please do the same. And it's okay to fight, like you said. It's okay. You gotta... How do you remember that? I mean, how do you know that? Because sometimes you're so clear as to what is priority to you and what you care about, and then you seem to forget it when you get mad. I could say the same thing about you, Angel. Sure, sure. But I'm asking you, like, what what do you do to... Like, how... If if it was just up to self-control, I think you would have... That's why I think the list is important. Yeah. One, here, two lists. I want a one, list of what? One, here's, here, here are things that, that you do that can hurt me or fuck with me or makes me mad or this or that. And, you know, and we take it without freaking out. Just take it and own it and study it and fucking and if we have a, uh, a different opinion let's talk it out a little bit let's talk it out a little bit and I'll, I'll I'll make a fucking list you make a fucking list of all the things that you think you do that you'd like to change the things that I do that I'd like to change in fact, that's the first list we should write. Yeah, I was going to say this. The first list that you mentioned, it just, someone once said to me, as soon as you start listing what like, well, you don't, like it will be able to make a relationship sober. Uh, when they kind of said it as a list uh, aside, they were like, well, that's how you know. Send me a, write me a letter, put it in an envelope every morning. Or on on our little notebook. Yeah. Are you doing no, no. Please don't. Please love me today. Please don't hurt me today. Please don't get crazy today. But then what happens if one of us gets hurt or mad? Because that's life. It will come up. If we don't do things differently, I want a list of things that we don't do. I can't keep throwing our relationship in the air every time we get mad because all bets are off every time. Blood pressure goes up a certain amount. Uh, you know, look, uh, th- 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 these don't have to be followed through with. These are just things that I suggest because I don't give a fuck some cock says if go, oh, as soon as you make a list, it's like, yeah, fuck that. I don't know, I just need to, like, I do it. I don't, I look, I, 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 it doesn't have to be that. gross. It's just, it just, you know, you've, you've just, like, I, I mean, I don't need a list. You just went through the majority. You know, and I and I went through a lot of mine, but and you don't have to make the other fucking list. I, I'll make the other list. No, I'm not saying I don't want to make that list. I agree about that one. I just want to know what we're going to do differently and how to help check each other on what the other one needs, so that it doesn't get to this point. It I can't is, keep living like this. Oh, I can't keep living like this either. You, you, I've got less. Change. I've got less time on the fucking planet than you. I'm not going to spend the rest of my life, fucking, uh, 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 fighting with, with and being being a drag to someone that I fucking adore. I'm not. I'm not. I w- I'm not going to live my life like that, man. The rest of my fucking days, which you know, fuck, what I got. Who knows? Huh? You know, fucking month. Fucking two weeks, goddamn thirty years. I don't fucking know, but life is short, precious. And I don't want to fuck up yours. You know, I don't want you to fuck up mine. I'd like. a bit more understanding from both of us.
sound, that sounds very good, and I agree. But what about the... What are in we, the moment. What are we going to do different in the moment when you're mad and you go, fuck it. In the decide moment. decide all bets are off. In the moment. Look what I did in Australia. Look what I accomplished. I put the fucker away. I told myself every fucking day, no, he's gone, no, he's gonna fucking put him away. I put him away. And by a list of the things that I feel that fuck you over or make you feel shitty or anything like that, I fucking, when we're in the moment, I remember it. I remember what I put on my list. I remember it, and I try. To, 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 to bring it down notches many notches I'll tr tr try to, if, we're, if we're heightened to say please I don't want you to feel this I don't want I don't want to feel this let's let's I, know, I need to know what we need to do different I need to know. It's got to be done with your mind and your heart. What do we do different if well, I have a problem? You tell need me. to tell me how to tell you tell different me. if I'm hurting you. You need to let me be able to be mad. Sometimes you're going to make me mad. I'm a human. I cannot live where it's like... Well, then it's the same thing goes for me then. You're going to have to allow me to get mad. Yes, exactly. If okay, I but I get mad and mad. then you start fucking yelling. I, 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 I don't have to start yelling. I think I start yelling once it gets fucking heightened. I've gotten a lot better about that. It's just only... No, I only start no. yelling when it's fucking hour 11 and we're really in it. Yeah, you, you haven't gotten better about that. Otherwise, we wouldn't have had three physical fights in the last month and a half, two I'm months. talking about the yelling. No, but... You witnessed it. You're the one that brought it up. Australia was fucking great. We just argued. Let's go back there. Let's go back there in our fucking heads and in our hearts. Let's go back there. And know on your Is list... Is the monster gone? Did you put him away? It's been so... <clears throat> when you get on that train, you get angry, you stay on it for so long, and you won't come down, you won't talk to the person that's that not, is you. That's not always... That's not always... It doesn't baby. have to always be the monster. But what is it? Can you put that away? Can you remember the bigger picture? You don't want to spend your life. I've asked you this so many times in fights. You want to spend your time like this. No, you don't. But I ask you because this is something you're choosing. I'm saying to you, olive branch. And you don't take my olive branches. You made me feel humiliated for offering them. You asked me to stay in Australia. I stayed, and then you walk out on me all the time. You've got to take some olive branches from me. You've got to offer them, too. You've got to be bigger than what you feel at that moment. And so do I. So do I. But if I call you on it, will you hear it? Yeah. Will you call me out on it if I'm doing it? Oh, yes, I will. Yes, I will. And I'll do it in a fucking... as, as peaceful a fucking... and as calm a manner as I, as I possibly can. I don't want to instigate any fights. I do not want to fight anymore. Say we're having an argument and you get mad. An argument's How an argument. Can, yes, but say we're having an argument and you get mad. It asks me, how do you talk to the you that's in front of me right now? What do I need to say? What do I need to do? We don't want to spend our life mad like that doesn't mean you have to like what I'm saying or doing or vice versa, but can you just calm say, down? Baby, please, please, please don't get the mom to the monster. Please don't, let's not yell. Please don't, you know what I mean? And I'll do the same. I have done the same. What? You promise. Yeah, I mean, what? Yes. Why would I, I say I it if I didn't? To, because sometimes you don't keep your what you say, and I want things this to be different. So now my words are no, 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 that's not the case. It's just that sometimes when you get mad, it's like you disconnect from the person that you are right now. And I'm wondering just how to, like, what's the communication, what's the phone number, you know, for that. And, and you, how do I, how do I calm you down when you go into Maybe a flurry? 
and maybe say, like, remind me, remember what we talked about, like, calm down, you know, baby, please calm down. Can you look at the bigger picture? Something, I will remind me of this conversation, you know, when I'm upset and I'm feeling like it's pointless, you know. Don't ever lie. I, I don't ever lie. I know you and I see, remember, see things differently sometimes, but I'm not lying. I, you know, for someone who, I know that's your deepest fear and that's why it comes up in fights and stuff, but you got a trust issue in general in life. Oh, yeah. I never fucked you over, and I'm not going to, and anybody who knows me, if they had to list two or three things about me, adjectives about me, one of those three would be super honest, straightforward, honest. Everyone else in my life, I know you have trust issues, but you can't let it cloud you know with me. Please. It comes up a lot, I know you have an issue with it. It's not me. You can trust me. If anything... Say that to me. Say that to me at the time. What? Say what? Then? What you just said. Say that stuff to me at the time. If I'm starting to fucking flip, you know, you're off to a movie or I'm off to a movie or whatever. I feel like I do, but I guess I should say it differently. I'll find another way. I'll pay attention to how I say it. It depends, man. That's... Both pay attention to how we, how we talk to each other, um, to respect each other. I, you know, I'm not going to do that all the time. Sometimes we're going to be shitty or whatever. Of course not. But when we make a promise to each other about the rings and the divorce. No rings, no divorce. We promise each other. Um, Please, I, I want so bad to feel like the marriage I... I promise you. Work so hard to make happen. It's like meaningful. Don't, don't talk about the, making the wedding happen. Talk about the four years we spent together, please. Yes, but I want to make I have those four years no matter what. But I fought for that wedding. And we had that wedding. A beautiful wedding. For what? If we don't... I want to... Like, it means something. That there's some... Yeah. It did mean something. And it does mean something. I didn't get married to you to fucking... It's fucking, you know... 17 more fights and it's fucking over with. We got married, I knew the fucking fights weren't gonna stop, but I thought maybe it would, it would curb them a little. I wanted the security back. I freak out. I freak out and cannot make normal decisions, calm decisions, or ones from the heart where I'm thinking of you more than me when I feel like you're splitting on me all the time, when the marriage is on the rock. I make the same mistake about throwing our marriage around. I won't do it again. I'm not going to do it again. Okay? Please. I'm not. I promise. But. But there's so there's some something so anxiety provoking and scary and malicious and really just turns everything over when you split all the time. Please. If you really don't want to fight and you're not just trying to hurt me, which sometimes it is that if you really, really you really love me and you don't and you do care about this, please find a good way to do it one that's respectful. Mm. You can tell me that you are. You can I need to know that we will be able to talk about it because the problem I have is when we don't communicate. It comes into me, it builds up in me and becomes can cancer in me. It got worse every day when we were back in Toronto. It got worse every single day. Not better, worse. Until we spoke about it. 
to Whitney's birthday and you talked about it, then it was okay. But I need, that's, I don't want to resent you. I don't want to resent you. I don't want to, I don't want to not trust. You know how many times, you know how many times I've chased you out of the elevator in the hall? Stop doing that. I'm not nitpicking. I don't mean to be focusing on something, but if it's a major thing to me, and it is a major. If things get thing. physical, we have to separate. No, no. We have to be apart from one another, whether it's for fucking an hour or ten hours or fucking a day. We must. There can be no physical violence I towards each other. I agree about the physical violence, but separating for a day or I'm, night I'm, and taking a night off from our marriage, no, no, no. That, it just means it opens up. If Listen, I'm just giving examples. It, I, it could be fucking three minutes, it could be fucking two weeks. It, I'm just no, saying. We need to agree on certain boundaries, so we have boundaries again. We need to make agreements and hold each other accountable to them and ourselves accountable to them, which is why I'm even bringing this up. I'm not... You know what I mean? I'm not saying anything negative. I know. All I'm saying is, we need to take whatever time we need, you need, or I need, to kind of let things settle for a minute, so that we don't f fucking kill each other, or fucking worse, you know, fucking, like, really kill each other, or, or fucking break up, or whatever. Just don't. I think that... Help me, I, I'll help you. I, this is the thing that makes me feel unsafe and unstable, to be honest. This is what makes me not sure. What's that? It's the, that there's like... Walking away, going to her corner. No, loophole. It's like, oh, go and take the time you need, take the time I need. Okay, fine, every time I get mad at you, I can go split. Except for, oh, wait, I don't have my own place to go split to. No, Amber, stop. You know, it makes me think I should. It makes me, you know, I, I don't have a place I can go. I don't have a, I'd have to go to a hotel, you know? And I don't have the funds to do that. I mean, it's... That's not what I'm talking about. Look, I think we should control ourselves and not get physical. And if it gets physical, and we've dropped that um, wall, then we're going to drop the other ones. And it's going to be like, you're going to fucking split, or I'm going to fucking split, and... You may, this isn't going to come back. You may be right, but you, you can't predict the future once again. Here's what I'm saying. If the fight escalates... To the point of where it's just insulting for both of us, uh, or if it gets to that physical fucking shit, the violence, that's when we just say, look, let's go to our corners, man. You, you, you hang wherever you want, baby. I'm going in the office, and I'm just going to fucking sit there and try and de-jellify my fucking brain. I, I'm not talking about me running out of the fucking house. I'm not talking about me, you know, splitting because I'm fucking cunt and a coward or whatever. I'm talking about go to our corners. I'll go to my little office. I'll, you go, you can have the house. You, you just take the house and wander wherever you want. I won't fucking come bother you. You know, and if you if you, if at a point you you're feeling like better after ten minutes, come knock on the door. I always and, do that. And, and please let me finish. Sorry. And if in ten minutes I'm feeling like, all right, I got the solution for this, or I know how to, we can, you know, please, I'll come knock on your fucking door, or I'll come find you. When you try. What? When you try to not make it. I've just told an you. An all night thing. I wasn't done. I, uh, it was 
who you try and not make it a lifestyle. I mean, you try and remind yourself that they can just be right. You try and uh, absolutely respect we, that it doesn't have to be an all night. Uh, absolutely, I don't want to go to bed mad. I and mean, we were I doing really good with each other. We've been for a long time. I don't want. I know, but we weren't insulting one another to the point of like. Wow, you know, like the way I insulted you in Toronto, or the way you insulted me on the on the plane, or where you know whatever. Let's not get to that point. That's nothing. That's that's bullshit. That's 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 kindergarten shit. We don't fucking need to do that. What we could do is just. Try to be fucking calm and say, look, this is really, this is getting somewhere I don't like. Please, let's take an hour max. Go, I'll go in and fucking write and, 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 and try and figure it out, get it out, whatever. I'm just... Just making suggestions for, for to try and fucking save us, you know. Just gotta, we gotta honor our promises. I, I cannot, nor can you. You don't deserve to be in a relationship. No. That is walked away from all the time. I, I, I can't. I would never want you to do that. I never want you to be in that. You deserve better. So do I. You cannot Indeed. be constantly, constantly, anytime I'm upset or mad or hurt or anything, I fuck up. God, if I yell, if I fuck up, ever. Ditched. That's not marriage. You know, most people don't have the two, three houses they can go to. It's always, I mean, your house. And you always split it. Listen, you can't, you can't be saying that I, that... If that's what you feel, you feel that from you, because you didn't get that from me. I never fucking said, this is my house and my house only. Kind of, but I, mean, no. I know yesterday I... No, that's our fucking house. It's our always, fucking... Always remind me that I'm... I got, I got Rocky and Josh living there. I got Whitney living there. Don't, so don't. But you say it in fights. You use it in fights, and I'm sorry, but I feel like. Oh, forget it. I, I, I just. I, just I mean, want, don't think that you, I just you want know. Security and the commitment for me that we have destroyed both of us. And I don't know if that matters to you. But, but personally, like if you need that. It absolutely so. matters to me. But I do. And. I can't promise you that I'll be perfect. I can't promise you I won't get physical again. God, I fucking sometimes get so mad, I lose it. I can fucking promise you I'm gonna do everything to change. I promise you, I'm not gonna throw around divorce. I will not say divorce unless I really need it. Unless it's it. And then I hope you leave me. I'm not going to. And me too. I will leave you. It's fair. I can't do it. You know, and I think honestly, if we hold each other accountable to that, it's fair. That's what I said earlier. Look, if we get to that that point where it's like this is it's a line we don't cross. Too fucking much. Let, let's you know we fucking man shake hands and walk away. You know. But you don't do it until you mean it. That's my point. Trust me, if, if, if I'm not gonna do it unless I mean it. Promise. If I say it, I will be leaving. Or if you say it, I'll get the fuck out or whatever. You know. Promise. Yeah, I'll That promise. rain does not come off. Unless I say the word or unless you say the word. Well, or you just take the ring off because that's the same thing. That'll be the same thing. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You know, I don't want to, I don't think our marriage should be something we used to. In fact, if you want a fucking divorce, you're going to tell me. Not in a fight. Let's be honest. You know? 
that's a decision, a lifelong decision that even you and me as hotheads know you can't make forever decisions when you're when you're mad like that. It certainly feels like you can, but you and I both, even though we're hotheads, we do know the difference. However, I don't think it's something we should ever say to each other in a fight ever. And if you promise me, and I promise you, and we need, we need that, we need to hold each other accountable again. I want to feel safe. I have nothing to cling on to. I would, you didn't even come home last night. I feel like I have nothing to cling on to. The semblance of marriage or commitment or stability. You know, I can just get up and walk away and spend the night somewhere else. Yeah, obviously you can. Yeah, but believe you, believe it's done if I do that. That's that's it's not marriage. You you talked about it. You know why I left. I do know why you left. I'm saying now that I won't do the same thing. I mean, I, I mean that, I, that I will not do that. I will not fucking leave until Promise. until some rational decision is made. Promise. If it's the end, it's the end. If it's the fucking, if we can keep going, we'll keep going. But yeah, Promise. Trust me. to be as transient as whatever fight we're fighting for. I don't want any loopholes, any, oh, it's okay to leave, it's acceptable to do this, or it's acceptable to say this, about, like, splitting or breaking up or leaving. I, that's our, we should, we should, we should fall asleep together every night. Ideally, never mad. Ideally, never mad. I'd love to say, of course, you could promise that, but I don't. I don't know if it's possible. I'd love to strive for it. Y yeah, you weren't ready for that last night, for sure. No, I fucked up last night. I'm really sorry. So, so let's understand that we're both guilty of the same shit at times. But no one's saying it more than me, though. I so am saying that. So it's let's, let's, let's. It's just chronically overweight with, and I need that to be something you realize and that you know. It's affecting not just me, it's affecting our marriage. It's affecting how I trust, how I resent you, how I like you without the it, fight being happening. No, I know. But when I'm not trying to rub your nose in that. I'm just, I feel sometimes like you omit something, you acknowledge it, it'll be beautiful, and then you'll go back on it kind of in your vo like in the vocabulary after, and then I feel like, wait a second, is he taking it back? You know what I mean? I do know what you mean, but like I said before, there's, there's not, I, I don't, I don't have the, I haven't cornered the market on that, you know, when you start the fucking yelling, there's, you know, it, 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 it fucking gets crazy, you know, it gets fucking, it gets fucking crazy, you know, and th that, that makes me not feel uh, for lack of a better word, safe within the relationship, mm -hmm. you know, uh, understanding of, oh well, it's just nothing, because it, if it keeps going, if it's if it's always sort of there, then, uh, you know, I worry. Yeah, I fucking worry about the marriage. I worry, how much longer can I deal with this? 
How much longer can she deal with this? Fuck, man. So I've had the same trust issues. I've had the same uh, uh, disappointments. I've had the same, you know, maybe maybe not to the degree you have. I, 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 I'm assuming so. But yeah, I, I, man, when you start, when you start fucking honking, you know what I mean? It's, it's, well, it's pretty. Me. Call it's it out. Call pretty, me out on it and help me. I will. I will help try. Help me be like you might not even realize I'm doing it, but you've got to help me. I but will we try. Can't, it can't be an excuse to leave. I will try to help you. If I try to help you and I can help you, fuck what I leave. If I try to help you and I can't help you. Say, baby, I'm taking an hour. I'm in my fucking office. It's yes. yes. If you want to talk, if you want to come get me. Otherwise, I'll come check on you in an hour. That that would be really helpful. All right. And I promise you, I'll leave you alone for that hour. I promise you, I'm not gonna freak out. I just want I just want you to have your time to be able to calm down, or my time to be able to calm down. But it really helps. If Give it time. It's not just. Say even now. if you just say it will, you know. In, like I promise, if it resume this, I just need to know that we will talk about it. Otherwise, I'm dealing with cancer. I'm dealing with something that just festers and it gets worse and worse. So you have to realize that, it, you know, in that kind of situation, a few minutes <coughs> is fine, but then after a certain point, it becomes way worse and I become way harder to reason, to rationalize with. I become that Kipper can tell you, he says he's the same way, I just, that's how I work. And you work a very different way, when you meet in the middle, you know? I, I, I yeah. I, I do understand that. I mean, I, I do, I, would, I do understand all that. But I... I also want you to understand that, you know, there were great moments of high hopes that it was just all cool, and then, you know, whatever happens, this happens, that happens, and fucking, and we have a spat, or a fight, or a fucking blowout. I, I just want you to know that the way you're feeling about Being unsure of, of us, of the marriage, of the this, of the, if you, whether, I can, whether you can trust me to be this, or whether you can, you know, or whether I can do the same. It's I feel very much the same. At least you have the added luxury that you take for granted. No offense, you do. What do I take for granted? That you have the added luxury of knowing that I'm there and that I mean it forever and that I, because I show up. I come, I'm knocking, I'm the one who asks look, to calm look, down, I'm the one that comes and gets you on the plane, I'm the one that comes and knocks at the bathroom door, I'm the one that comes into the, to the house that you've run away to, I'm the one that comes to you and says, oh, this isn't worth it, let's fight for this night, or whatever, I, you have an added luxury that you just are taking for granted in such a big way, and you don't know how much that means, if I ran from you the way I used to, before the marriage, would not be together. When I used to run away, when you would, whatever, when I felt like it was justified. How many times did we almost break up? How terrible was that? How terrible was it for you? We would not be together if I did that. And you take it for granted that I show up and that I fight for it and that I am the one to come over. I'm the one that comes out into the hall. I am the one. I have a hot head just like you, but I, what a luxury you have. If you take that for granted, you're so, what a luxury. I'd do anything to have that feeling. If at least in the back of my mind, I'd know that you showed up, that you fought for me, that you cared enough to. Here's what you you're missing in that little, you know, paragraph. What you're missing is, you're the one who comes and gets me. You're the one who comes and says you're sorry. That You're the one that comes and tries to calm me down. You're the one that's but why am I 
why am I riled up? We're both riled up. No, it's not like every time I've done something to you in a vacuum, baby. Yes, you don't get. I don't doubt you're riled up, but I'm riled up too. And I said this to you on the couch. I've said this to you before. We both have. Our, it's subjective. You have your reasons. I have my reasons. For every action, there is something that caused it, and I have the same thing. But I'm that, mad in the same way. But what caused way. it? What caused it? Could be so irrational, and so far-fetched, and so minute, minute. That's what I say to you every time that you want to have a big fight. Every time I go, this could be something small. Why wasn't this just an argument, baby? Why wasn't this just an argument? Yes, so you're right. Sometimes it could be very small. Sometimes it's not. Either way, it doesn't negate what I'm saying to you. Of what a what a gift. Like I would do anything to trade places with you. You talk about insecurity. I don't know how you can say I'm taking trust, it for granted. That's a fucking insult. Man. You talk about trust and like you feel the same way. You don't feel this. You couldn't because the difference is you at least have the knowledge in the back of your head that you can fall back on. That I showed up. That I fought for you. That I checked on you. That I came to get you. That I said I love you. That I saved the marriage. If it were up to you and I treated you the way you treated me, we would not be together. Let's face it. It's because. Because I fucking fight for this, it's because I come over, and last time I didn't, which is what I should always do, and I am learning my fucking lesson, it's just, when you walk, fucking let you walk, and I, that time, I can't tell you how done I was, it was like this time in Toronto, I was looking for apartments, I was preparing to tell my pa my folks, my parents, I was done. And you called me and you were like, well, I'm about to go out of town or whatever. And ended up like that, whatever. I, I told you I wasn't ready to see you. Because it had gotten so much worse. That I was basically calling. I, I was like, I need to, I just need to change my life. And this, my life is different. I am no longer with this person. And I'm now single. I need to, um, you know, get my shit together, find an apartment, do all this stuff. It got so much worse, and honestly, if that happens one more time, we will break up. I know it. I know we won't survive it. That was so severe. The what damage was so severe. When you spent a week here, you said, I'm going to go away for a day. You wrote me a note. I left it on the kitchen counter, and he said, I just need to clear my head for a night, maybe two. I oh, didn't hear I from you for Bruce. six. No. This is here. You came here. I stayed downtown. This is, you were gone for six, seven days. And then I didn't even let you spend the night in the house. Remember, you came over, we talked. I wasn't even ready. No one, I, I, you know how long it took me to take down those walls that I built up? It took forever to build those. I was so, it took me so long to trust you, even a little bit again. I was so, I resented you so much. The damage was very deep. And I know that if I let that happen again, I don't, I, I, in my heart, I know we wouldn't survive it. So, you walk out, and I have one option. That's why I come to you. If I let it go, like I did last time, which is what I should do, because if you're willing to walk out, you should be walking out. But I let it go, and it was a fucking week. And it took... I'm, and I'll never b get some of that back. I'll never have that trust quite the same way. You left me a note saying I'm going to be gone for a night. I, I, we didn't speak for a week. I didn't even hear from you. You didn't check on me. Nothing. So you thought we were broke up. Oh, yeah. I was preparing to be to have that conversation with you and be done. Oh, so you just said you were single. No, I was, said I was preparing myself to think that way. You know, take care of my own life. Get my own, you know, apartment. That's that. So well, I hope it doesn't get to that. No. Of course, but I'm just saying, when I, when, when I didn't fight for it, when I let it go, it was devastating. Devastating in my heart, my soul, on the trust, all the they can't do it again, you fight. We are not going to do it again. At least you have in the back of your mind that I come and I show up. I fight. I come and I don't have that. I don't take that for granted, by the way. I don't always know that you'll come. I don't always know.
know that you'll be knocking. I don't always know that you want to talk. I go, I go, because I think, fuck. We're screwed. Can't live like this. Well, like I said, well, like you said, you walk out the door, you walk out the door. That is the same as rings off. That's the same thing as mentioning divorce. There's no talking unless we just want to try to be civil with one another. That's fucking people who were married. I hate to talk like, I hate even saying that kind of shit, but, yeah, if I walk out again, I'm walking out, and I'll know that, and you'll know that. If you do that, same deal. Trust, respect, whatever you feel you've lost for me. I hope you can't. And I hope you can make the changes that Fuck with me. And if we want to do it, we'll do it. Ultimately, we don't want to do it. We know the result. We're definitely at the end of any of that shit. All the anger at each other. We're definitely at the end of that kind of shit. There's no more. No Can you let it go? Can you let it go of some of these fights? Yeah, I can let the fights go. I just feel like we're all on to the everything and we're just fight about the same. Mm -hmm. you know? But it, My mom said, um, either of us are forgiving I, each other. Well, I don't think it's going to, I don't think we can forgive each other this quickly. I think. I'm not saying that. With time, it, it, it'll, 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 you know, lessen. But everything that I said, you, you, you know, is not, <coughs> you're not going to be able to unhear it. And the same with me. I won't be able to unhear it. And they are horribly thought provoking. But I just gotta write it off, you know, and, and get past it. If I didn't want to be with you, I wouldn't be with you. If you didn't want to be with me, you wouldn't be with me. And that's really what it boils down to. So if we want to be together, let's do our best to fix what's broken within the machine, within our mach the machine that is us.
Fucking on being in the house finally. And, you know, woke up like three hours fucking later. You know, fucking, feeling like, you know, dog, you know, why? You know, fucking why? Hope this is important enough to be fight. It is important enough for me to fight for it. Uh-huh. Why do you say that? Then I can't do it alone. I woke up the first thing and called you. I called you last night. I just was so foolish, you know. And I understand part of it, but I also see like. But my thoughts and my issues. At least you know I love you. You know I love you more. Than me. You know. At least you know that. You do know that. Like what? Like what? You that love I love you more than me. That I love you. More than yourself? Yeah. You don't. De- Face yourself and embarrass yourself like that isn't for you. It's because you're worried about protecting yourself. I don't think you debased yourself in any way. I think it's very brave. I think it's a very. Your feet are swollen. I don't know what. Your ankles are swollen. You took your morning nap. What? Not swelling? No. It's fucking. Oh, it must just be where the sun is. the muscle over there. I love your tone. got to be reciprocal. Yes. I agree. And what you did by calling me last night, you fell asleep on the phone. You did realize that. Yeah. I'm sorry. I had to ambient myself. Again. It's all right. I said a sweet goodnight to you. Did you tell her to sleep in? I thought you were sleeping once before. I think you might have fallen asleep once before. And then woke up and continued talking. And then I was saying something, talking, and then all of a sudden there was just no more. And you just gone. I really don't want to sleep without you. Again, we can't. I there's a, there's don't a want better to way. Hold. Let's, let's find it. Don't slug me. Don't. I'm sorry I did. It's okay, just... But, you know, sometimes that fucking thing happens. You do it, too, sometimes, where you just... I know. I but it can't be, out. like, the end of... Our marriage is bigger than that, obviously. We don't need to ever get to that point. I, I agree. I agree, but... 
I hope we don't. I hope we don't. I love you. I want you to be my wife. And I want to be your husband. I want to be a good husband. And if I haven't been. do everything I can to find out how to be a good husband. You're a great husband. You really are. It's, it's just hard if anything comes up if someone bumps your shoulder on a crowded sidewalk. You know, we're wearing white again. I'm black. So it makes a difference. It's a big deal if there's a bump. So we can be so good. Amazing. And I'm here trying to move forward, forgive each other. Listen, we have to I know we had our other. fights today to, to try to settle whatever the fuck all this scrambled crazy shit that one thing reminds you of another, and you find yourself going back into some other fight. And it's all scrambled, it's all fucking jumbled, it's like white noise all moving around, a little thing. <clears throat> I'm glad that, I'm glad that we got to a point where we were shitty with each other. I'm glad we got to a point where we didn't fucking know how this was going to end. I'm telling you, by, by coming here today is it, it, fucking courageous and it's fucking admirable. If you come here and talk to me and try and work things out. And to tell me these problems, things that I do to fuck with you, I want to change it, I want you to change it, I want us to change it, together. Thank you for sitting through and actually having a conversation with me. I did not expect that. But I'm really proud of you for not, not running away, or walking away. Or what, I'm proud of you for that. Thank you. It means that we can actually hash out these things. Yeah. Some things have to be said and maybe left. Huh? And maybe left. Oh, left behind. You yeah. will never forget a lot of things, but we can forgive. We really do need to. We need to let up. We really need to. My mom's right. There's absolutely. It's just adding weight that we're just carrying around those stones. My mom is right. I know she is. She's right. She's right on the fucking mind. On it. We can make it if we want to. We can get through the shit if we want to. Sure. Right now, then, then 
No, I'm not. I love you. I love you. Um, I just needed the. I need this. I needed the security thing. I needed to have something to hold on to, or else I'm. Why? Tell me shit. Tell me, just tell me. Before it becomes something you've held inside the show on where it yeah. wants to just explode. Just tell me. And I'll tell you the same. And then, once we... Once we can fucking get the shit out without it being some huge drama, or, or even if it is a huge drama, once we can get the shit out, recognize it and like you said fucking is gone chuck it doesn't work that method does not work bam it's gone next fuck man I, 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 I fucking die if I start and it kills me that that, that possibility that you would think that I take so much for granted or that I that I uh, I'm untrustworthy or, or a bad husband or I didn't say you were untrustworthy no I'm just saying it's, it's and just I said what I needed to say I'm not you know I won't I know baby I'm not I'm not asking you to elaborate on anything I'm saying. All I'm saying is I, I would fucking die if, if, if I knew that was how you thought of me. And now I know what, what I know. And I'll fucking do my best to get it together so that I don't fuck with you, and you don't fuck with me. And we're fucking, we're a couple again, and we're friends again. Do you want to fight with you? Love. Is it, I promise it won't explode if we just do the things a little different in the fight. You know, like, don't walk away from me. Do it in a different way, and I promise, I won't resort to the same shit. I promise. Okay. Thank you. Maybe, maybe when that when that fucking hocus pocus happens and we get all fucking edgy with each other, instead of standing squaring off like a couple of fighters, mm -hmm. maybe let's try to sit down. Seriously, you know, like sit down. Even if we say, hey, listen, we're fighting like bastards. Let's sit down and have a glass of wine mm -hmm. and talk through this. I know you got it in you. I know you got it in you. And I know that I have it in you. It's just a question of I really realizing and admitting what it is. and I admit what you got I was just pausing it I realized I was about to run out of battery and still rolling this thing um, yeah. For Jack and Oh, um, he's doing the Halloween thing.
He's doing a Halloween thing? Yeah, he's going to like a Halloween, a Halloween thing, and he said he wanted to try and stop by um, before. Um, he sent me a. Or after before. He sent me a thing this morning at 10:45. Said, "Hey, Dad, sorry I missed you. I was at a place where murderers chase you with weapons and stuff." I was at 10:45. 10:45. He said, "You want to meet up today?" Ten fifty-seven. I hit him and said, "Yes, sir. I'm at eighty. I'm ready any time you say." And he says, "Yeah, he just woke up, so I gotta wait till like a half or, or a half or is that one or two? Well, it's probably half." I said, "Whenever you want, Bob. I'll be here whenever you are." He said, "Thanks, Dad. See you soon. Can't wait." And then I said, you'd um, you love to see if you want to come over. And you sure that wasn't last night? No, I mean, I'll show you right now. There's that. Fucker. See? That's it. Today at 1. Yeah. Well, that's all right. Maybe he was afraid to tell me or something. Do you want to, um, do you want to go home? You going back down? I thought you had shit you had to do. What? I thought you had shit you had to do. Mm -hmm. No? No, you asked me that earlier, too. Well, because last night you said... I'm, I'm throwing off the, you know, I pulled off the ice coming out of the car and uh -oh. I pulled, you know, Lizzie, I see her at some point, I'm, I'm not, you know, and Rob has to have her friends over at the pool. Oh, that's right, she, yeah, she's You know, I mean, that kind of thing, and I'm not, mm. I have to clean out my closet. Well, let me, um. I'm not going to do any of it, I just want to have some dinner and a glass of wine. I want to do that right now. Let's go. Say it. Say the words. I love you. I love you. I love you. Forgive me. Or let me earn your forgiveness. I forgive you. I forgive you. I'm really sorry. I Thank am. You. Thank you. But I'm, I'm... Boils down to those last two words. That's all. Three words. Let me get my chit together, okay?